Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mary. Today I'll be reacting to Dave Chapley on Indians. So without further ado, let's get started. You know who I feel real bad for is, is Indians. Everybody feels bad for Indians. They get dogged, they get dogged openly because everybody thinks they're dead. These motherfuckers are not all dead, all right? I've seen, with my own eyes, I've seen a gathering of 1,500 Native Americans. They were all gathered in one place. The place is called um, Walmart in New Mexico. <laughs> There's Indians there. I'd never seen Indians before. I wasn't even sure if they were Indians. I was fucked up, but I, I asked one of them. It's not nice, but I seen them in the sports section looking at bows and arrows. I had to say something, oh, excuse me. I, I don't mean to be rude. Um, are you an Indian? <laughs> and he was cool. Yes. Yes, I'm Indian. Still didn't believe him. I had to test him to be sure. This is fucked up. But I had a gum wrapper in my pocket, so I balled that shit up and I threw it on the floor. And a single tear came out of his eye. I said, oh shit. <laughs> I had so many questions. So what tribe are you from? I am a Navajo. I said, word. <laughs> I studied you in social studies. <laughs> You're a hunter-gatherer, correct? He said, I guess so. If that's what you wish to call it. I said, why, what do you call it? He said, I am an alcoholic. <laughs> I said, well, what's your name, dog? He said, please, dog is my cousin. That was a good guess. My name is Running Coyote. What is your name, friend? And that shit caught me off guard. I mean, I didn't want to say my name was Dave to a motherfucker named Renan Coyote. This don't feel good enough. He's putting me on the spot. I said, huh? My name, what? Oh, my name's uh, Blackfeet. <laughs> then I changed the subject. Forget about me, what's going on with you? I wanna meet your chief. Why don't me, you, and your chief, and your friends get together tonight? We could have a real live peace pipe smoking ritual. We need to celebrate, nigga. I thought you were dead. And he set it up, it was beautiful. It was just like I dreamed. We was all sitting around, and Indians was beating the drum. <laughs> Some other Indians came out the back with a long blanket that was folded in half and put in, in front of us. Opened that shit up, and on the blanket was a long wooden pipe with feathers. And bags of weed were all over the blanket. <laughs> Chief walked over. The big ones are 50. The little ones are 25. And these are 10. Man, those Indians got high as shit. I was baked. I told the chief. He was talking. I cut him off. Time out, chief. Sorry to interrupt. Fucking smash, man. The weed's too strong. I'm itching. Is this PCP? The spirits have got me. Chief, the spirits have got me. And the chief threw some water in my face. Calm down, blackface. Splash. I said, hey, it's black feet, motherfucker. Take it easy. Black feet. You're welcome to stay amongst me and my tribe for the night. Until the spirits leave you. Wow. <laughs> and they gave me my own teepee to sleep in, which sounds nice. I personally felt like it was a little fucked up, you know, because they all had houses, man. It's like, why can't I sleep with y'all in the house and watch TV? Like, I can't be on this grass all night. <laughs> yeah, Indians is rude, man. Everybody's rude. Indians, they eat nasty food. All they ate was corn and shit. Doritos, I think they call it. 
That's right. People only see the surface. They see the division in our foods. Just because I eat chicken and watermelon. They think that that's something wrong with me. Let me tell you something. If you don't like chicken or watermelon, something is wrong with you, motherfucker. There's something wrong with you. Where are all these people that don't like chicken and watermelon? I'm sick of hearing about how bad it is. It's great. I'm waiting for chicken to approach me to do a commercial, nigga. I will not do it for free, chicken. <laughs> it's the least I can do. They make fun of Latin people for eating, uh, what y'all eat? Beans, rice, corn. Listen, that's not a reason to hate a motherfucker, all right? It's funny, but it's not a reason to hate. Guys, I love Dave so, so much. You know, I, I love his style of comedy. First of all, he went to Taco India, then from there, introduced himself. And so many other things, guys. This is what a stand up comedian is supposed to do, you know, crack your audience. As soon as they stop laughing, you give them something funny to hit them up again. And that is what he's doing, guys. A style of comedy is, 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 is unique and different, guys. And I'm enjoying it. That's why I'll be finding it difficult to pause because I really want to get, you know, to the pick. Anyway, let's continue. I think he has a whole lot in store, guys. The only reason these things are even an issue is because nobody knows what white people eat. You've been very good at keeping that shit a secret amongst yourselves. I study white people. You don't know that. I'm writing a paper on you. Not even for school, nigga, just to do it. Just to get some, I'm just doing this independent research. I'm spending my money. That's why I'm working so hard. I follow you around grocery stores. They freak out. I just try to peek in the cart. They always say, get away from my cart, nigga. What are you looking at? <laughs> Chicken and giblets are over there. You must be lost. These are vegetables. I know what you drink. See how quiet it got? <laughs> Grape juice. Surprise, motherfuckers. You didn't know I knew about grape juice, did you? Oh, don't play dumb with me. Look at what? what is a lot of black people don't have the privilege of knowing about grape juice because they have grape drink. It's not the same formula that you get. <laughs> Ain't no vitamins in that shit. You might have one of your black friends over, Todd. Todd, would you care for a glass of grape juice? What? Nigga, what the fuck is juice? I want some grape drink, baby. Oh, mm, it's purple. I don't think I know what a grape drink is. What? I have some apple juice if you want. What the fuck is juice? <laughs> I want some apple drink. Scream. Remember that commercial for Sunny Delight when all the kids run in from outside playing and they all run to the fridge? <sighs> all right, I got some purple stuff, some Sunny D. As soon as they say Sunny D, all the kids go, yeah! <laughs> Watch the black kid in the back. If you ever see that commercial again, look at that black kid. He'd be like, I want that purple stuff. <laughs> I, that's drink, nigga, that is drink. They want, they want drink. I want all them vitamins, nigga, I wouldn't drink. Sugar, water, purple. <laughs> That's the ingredient, sugar, water. Perfect. And of course, purple. <laughs> it's too fucking much. I got a lot of things to talk about tonight. First of all, I've stopped smoking weed. With black people, you didn't let me finish, motherfuckers. God damn. I'm sorry, black people, to, to break the news so publicly, but I can't smoke with you anymore. Every time I smoke weed with my black friends, all you talk about is your trials and tribulations. I'm sick of that shit. I got my own problems. Nigga, that's a waste of weed. I'm smoking weed to run away from my problems, not take on yours. From now on, I smoke weed exclusively with white people. Calm down, motherfuckers. You win by default. <laughs> you got good weed conversation. All white people talk about when they get high is other times that they got high. 
I could listen to that shit all night. Dude, remember at Frank's last week? It's fucking smashed, man. <laughs> and catalogs everything they drink. Like two shots of Jaeger. Tequila. Four bong hits, man. Beer. Cheeseburger. That shit is great. The only bad part is you cannot pass out around white people. <laughs> Every time white dudes pass out around each other, they always do some borderline gay shit when the guy's asleep. <laughs> Frank fell asleep, so we like stuck a carrot in his ass and put shaving cream on his balls. Like, why, motherfucker? Why would you do that to a friend of yours? He trusted you enough to sleep around you. You gonna put a carrot in his ass? Is that, is that nice? I tell you right now, if I put a carrot in a black dude's ass, a nigga will kill you when he wakes up for some shit like that. <laughs> that is an automatic death sentence on the street. It's a rap for you. I'm gonna kill that motherfucker. I thought y'all was friends, baby. What happened? I, I, I fell asleep at his house, right? We was drinking, and I fell asleep at his house, and, and while I was sleeping, right? I'm just gonna kill that motherfucker, all right? That's all you need to know. <laughs> fuck carrots. <laughs> Guys, this is nice. This is nice. Dev is good. He's good. You see, he's diverse. He's just diverse. He knows everything about the Indian, the white, the black. He understands their culture. He knows what, you know, the love. So that is it. If you're a comedian, pay attention to your audience. Know what each and every one of them enjoy. Then crack them up, you see. Because when you say something about black people, white people might not get a joke. When you say something about white people, black might not get a joke. So be diverse, miss it. I just love that so much. And I love the fact that he, he has this limit, you see, to what he says. He don't cross the line. He knows that, okay, well, I'm restricted to this level. I don't want to go beyond this because I want it to just remain a joke. And that is it. But it's good. When he talks about the black guys, you see... I, I won't go out and drink with you and all of a sudden I find out you are trying to molest me or you molest me simply because I passed out. Well, he's right because what I would do to you, <laughs> you wouldn't even like it because that is it. It's, it's a bit weird, you see. And I get his point when he says um, when he drinks with black people or when he smokes with them, they talk about their life history, their problem and all. It's true, you see. Most of the time, we just want to go out while with time just let let go of our you know worries you see it, there's a saying that when you talk about things bothering you you tend to let them go when you when you harbor them within and keep on keeping them you see it will keep on you know pulling you down but the more you let it out the more free you become anyway i love this so much i love his style of comedy dave did an excellent job i want to check out more of his comedy if you have any recommendation let me know in the comment section if it's the first time visiting my channel click on the subscribe button thanks for watching and remember bless.